Welcome to Scania Studio. The number of connected vehicles from Scania is growing really fast. Today more than 150,000 vehicles are connected and the future looks bright for new services and solutions for Scania's customers. With me today Mattias Lundholm, you're responsible for connectivity at Scania. Nice to have you here. Thank you for having me. Uh, for how long have Scania been working with connectivity? I think actually for longer than most people uh, think. Uh, we started quite early. Uh, we started back in, in early 2000s uh, and we've been doing it for nearly 15, 16 years now. Uh, and uh, we are now in a generation, I call it the second phase. Uh, so we, we have, as you said, 150,000 vehicles and we're quite good at what we are doing, I would say. What do you think about the growth the coming years? I think since we standardized uh, uh, in 2011, we have now set the scene to, to have a tremendous growth in this. And, and as of today, with 150, 160,000 vehicles connected, we are actually the OEM that has the largest fleets of rolling fleet connected. It's roughly 25%. And this will just increase over the years. Uh, and that will give us a lot of opportunities and, and possibilities to, to leverage our business in, in far greater ways than we have done previously. Connectivity makes several different services available for Scania's customers. Can you give an example? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I mean, what, what you start to think of when it comes to this is traditional fleet management services and tachograph services. But we should also recognize that we use connectivity in, in, in many, many different ways. We have improved workshop processes with remote uh, diagnostics, but we also take it to, to new levels when it comes to, for instance, driver services, that we integrate uh, the, the connected driver, connected vehicle, and we will take that to, to new levels. So driver services is definitely one uh, area where we have contributed from connectivity. And there will be more. Uh, trust me, there will be more. Uh, but just to give you a little bit uh, flavor of that. One year ago, uh, Scania launched uh, a smartwatch, the Scania yeah, watch. Uh, what was the reactions? It created a huge buzz, <laughs> I would say. We, we started off, in, you know, before Christmas, uh, and we had a limited edition. January and come February, we sold everything uh, within just a few weeks. And the response that we have received from this is tremendous. Mm -hmm. We are being exposed in magazines, in, 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 in meetings, in conferences, in ways that we have not previously been. So it created a, a very big buzz. But very important, I think the users really appreciate it. Uh, and this is uh, what we hope to, to achieve, but we have done it. So I am really happy with all the extra exposure, so to say. Finally, what about the future? What more can we expect when it comes to connectivity? Uh, you, I think you can expect a lot more. And to be a little bit more serious on, on, on this question, I think connectivity where we come from is more to provide services. I think connectivity in the future would be an, an enabler to be competitive with our whole offering. I can't really imagine having a truck in a logistical system that is not connected. I can't really imagine that flow of goods is not connected. There's so much inefficiencies to, to work with here. So I think when it comes to providing new services and perhaps positioning Scania in a different uh, level in the value chain, so on and so forth, I think, yeah, we can expect developments in, in these areas. Uh, so I think we should expect a lot. Matthias Lundholm, thank you so much for joining us and good luck with the upcoming work. Mm, thank you very much. And thank you for watching Scania Studio.